I think the number one reason guys struggle to get in shape when they're younger is because it takes time. They're not sure exactly what they should be doing. It takes too much time in the gym. They're tired. They don't want to go. So I thought the same thing and I've always been an advocate for long workouts. I've enjoyed the gym for a long time. But recently I've been traveling. I'm in a hotel right now. I've been traveling for 16 days and my physique has improved. I've been eating out every day. I've been drinking a little bit of alcohol, naughty, I know. And I've only been training for 30 minutes, but I've been training for 30 minutes every single day. So I'm gonna tell you the exact training plan that I'm using for 30 minutes per day, what I'm eating, and the things that I focus on when I can't quite stick to my schedule to make sure my physique still improves. Because I think you can use this in your day-to-day -day life. 30 minutes a day, follow these tips, get a gladiator physique, get lots of women, have a better life, sorted. So without further ado, boys, let's get into the video. Boom, 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 boom. boom so here we are. Yes, I, I, do, I, I might not have looked good in that t-shirt, but yes, my physique is quite good. And you can have the same thing in a matter of 30 minutes a day. But a lot of people are going to say, Jack, you're probably on gear. You're just one of them influencers that's on gear. You're probably like Liver King. I mean, you're so huge, after all. And to this, I will say, get ready for the blood work, boys, because I'm all natural. And it doesn't even take that long. Just remember that I've been training since I was 14 years old. So I can maintain a lot easier than most people. But you can get in very good shape in 30 minutes a day. And I'm going to show you how. Number one, let's get started just with the backstory. I've told you a little bit, but I've been traveling for 16 days. I've been in hotel gyms, and a lot of people, if you've traveled, you'll know hotel gyms, they're not the best. The weights are very light. They're not made for huge guys. They're just made for casual people. They just want to go down there, get a quick workout in. So you don't have your big heavy weights. I've been eating out, and we all know if you eat out, you're probably eating a lot of seed oils. There's not really anything you can do about it. That shit's not good for you. If you're eating out, it's extra salt, fats, it's loads of shit eating out. And I've been having a couple of drinks. I'm, I'm in, not impartial to an Aperol Spritz. If any of you don't know what that is, it's a type of cocktail, it's very delicious. I'll be cutting it now, because today is the 31st December. Tomorrow I'll be back on a, kind of like a monk mode, but up until now I have actually been drinking some alcohol. Two drinks, probably a night. Most gym bros would think that this is now impossible. They're like, fuck, can't train, no heavyweights, can't eat my rice and broccoli and chicken out of a container and I've been drinking alcohol. Surely he's fucked. No, my physique has actually gotten better. I mean, but come on, boys. Look at it. It's unbelievable, Jeff. I'm going to give you my exact training system now. This is what I've been doing whilst traveling. So I go down, training system, nutrition, sleep, supplements, how I stay in shape whilst traveling, how you can stay in shape and get a gladiator physique in 30 minutes a day. My sessions are usually one to two hours, a lot of heavy lifting. They're 30 minutes max on holiday and these are the only exercises I do. I've got lat pull and tricep extension because I'm trying to make a couple changes in the back just to really thicken out the back. It has not been as thick as I wanted it to. I have a quite a large chest and the back has not been as good. So we've been focusing on the lat pull, bent over rows, tricep extensions, obviously the tricep because it's, it's fairly big but we can always make it bigger. So I've been doing 12 reps. I shall go into that next. So I've got the lap pull, tricep extensions, bent over rows, dumbbell flies, just to keep the chest good, to stretch out the chest, to keep that going. And then the leg extensions and the leg curls, because obviously you can't have no legs. You need to have a decent sized leg as well. So there we go. We've been doing legs too. Now, that's not a very long workout and I get through it very quickly. I kind of mix it as a cardio workout. So reps sets and frequency rather than just training four or five times a week i'm training every single day and the weights are very low in the gym so each exercise is 12 reps so i'll do my lap pull down and my tricep extensions together so i'll do 12 reps lap pull down and i'll do it very slow literally like that one two three four one two three four and i'll do my 12 boom now i'll go straight into triceps one, two, three, four, boom. One, two, three, four, boom. One, two, three, four. I'm going to keep that nice and slow because the weights aren't good. So we need to increase time under tension. And I'm basically hitting that like a superset. I'm not having rests. I'm going boom, lap pull down, boom, tricep extension. Keeping the time under tension very, very good. If you've got limited time, this is what I recommend you do. And I go every single day because I do believe with the amount of stress I'm putting on the body, it's not that much. I'm not lifting that heavy. 
I can recover very quickly. I'm not even feeling sore, but my muscles still seem to be gaining some size and I've gained a little bit of weight. Not quite as much as before, but the physique's certainly still improving. It's very important to do the every day, especially if you're somebody that's maybe you're going out for drinks after work, or maybe you're drinking a bit on the weekends, or maybe you're not so strict with your diet and you don't wanna be. You have to go every day because you're gonna feel lazy on those days that you drink the next day. And the biggest thing you need to overcome is your mental, your mental side. That's what's gonna keep you in shape. I don't think it's necessarily that you have a bad workout, it's just you don't really want to go to the gym. Once you're in there, you normally get pumped, you have a good time, and you're, you're restoring, you're keeping hold of that muscle. Whereas if you just let that go, every time you feel a little bit lazy or you've had a few drinks, you're like, oh, I don't need to go gym today, I'm a bit lazy, that's where you're going to lose the majority of your gains. Number two, most important thing with nutrition, I've found, is make sure you hit your protein goal. Try and hit it as early as possible. Ideally from steak, that's what I use. Or you can use other meats. I think they're all really subpar to steak. It's steak and eggs, that's where, how I would hit my protein goal. Or eggs and chicken if, you, if that's what you want to eat. Hit the protein first. It's satiating, which means it's going gonna, it's gonna to forgive you your hunger. It's going to make sure you're not too hungry. So make sure you're, you're very heavy on your protein. Don't be going crazy on the carbs every day and only eating carbs. Hit your protein first, whatever grams that is. One gram per pound of body weight is normally a good place to start. That's number one. After that, you can actually relax quite a lot about what you eat. You've trained that day, so your body's going to be eating, metabolizing food better. You can add fries in. I've had ice creams, I've had burgers, etc. I'm still lean, I'm absolutely shredded. It doesn't really make a difference when you hit this kind of level body fat and you're training every day. Your body will churn it up. But make sure every day that protein goal is hit or you're going to lose some size. Number three. I actually get instantly deflated if I don't sleep well. If I've had four hours sleep, three hours sleep, because I've been out, the next day, fucking hell, am I soft. I'm soft, I'm deflated, I don't look good. Sleep is so important, it's like a magic pill. Compared to somebody that is sleeping five hours a night and you're sleeping eight hours a night, you're literally on steroids compared to that person. So just remember that, boys. Sleep might not seem cool. You might want to hustle, 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 Fucking prioritize that sleep. I, if I go to bed late, which happens, sometimes you're up burning the candle at both ends. Sometimes you're up with a beautiful young lady and you just, it'd be a shame to let her go. You might stay up a little bit late. I sleep in the, the next day. I'm not one of those. And there's two ways to look at it. Do you keep the discipline of waking up early or do you get the sleep? I believe in sleep. My schedule can be pushed back. My schedule's quite relaxed. I don't have to get up for a, a set job and I can push things a little bit. Ideally, you stick to your same wake and your, your same sleep and your same wake time every single day. If you can't, I personally prioritize sleep. I think I work better the next day. If I go to bed at two and I wake up at six, I've had four hours sleep, I'm not productive in the day anyway. I might as well just slept till nine or 10 and then actually had decent work that day and I'll have a decent workout and my muscles will have repaired. And number four is when you go away or if you, and number four is supplements. What, what am I taking whilst I'm on holiday? Because you can't, it's hard to bring them all with you. So all I do is I cut down to the bare essentials. Creatine, between five and 10 grams a day, depending on, I've just got a spoon. So maybe some days it's 10, some days it's five. Vitamin D, just take that every day, either via the sun, if you can get an hour's sun every day, or with a supplement. I take 10,000 I use when I'm taking a supplement. That's a lot, you don't have to take that much, that's how much I take. But the importance is that you stick to your consistency on these things. So you make sure you're getting your sleep, you're training every day, you're having your supplements, your body's going to improve. Even if the other things are going a bit shit. It's not normally that our lifestyle choices actually inhibit our training that much. It's that you throw the other things out the window. When you've, when you've cheated on your diet or you've had a few drinks, you throw everything out. So here's how you can be not necessarily good and not necessarily the best guy around i've been a bit naughty but you can still make really good gains in the gym so there you go that's my no bullshit guide that's my 30 minute training method that i'm currently using to stay in sick shape whilst i'm away on holiday i hope you boys can use it there's just free absolutely free value there for you uh if you boys want to join the gorilla tribe we will be sending out some spots soon you just have to join the waiting list the link is in the description you go down there click it it'll take you to the website Click the link to join the email list and you will go in there. Maybe we will send out a spot to you and you can join us guys. You can get all the programs that I use in the gym. Plus, 
you can get access to the Gorilla Tribe networking group, which has become very, very valuable with some awesome guys in there. So it's been an absolute pleasure, lads. I will see you all on the next one. Stay golden, stay hard, keep fucking hitting the gym hard. Let's do this. Whoop out, whoop out, whoop out.